What's up everybody, I'm back. I'm about to show you guys the difference between a OEM and a retail CPU. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what happened with my system, my situation, and hopefully this can help some of you avoid the, uh, the tragic incident that occurred to me. So, stay tuned. First, let's go over and see in a first let's go over and tell you what exactly what Intel defines as an OEM and a retail CPU. There'll be a link to this in the description. This is questions and answers about um, regarding Intel CPUs. What Intel processors are eligible for warranty directly from Intel? Let's click that. Right here we can say what is a boxed or retail processor and how long is the warranty? A boxed processor is sold in a factory sealed package that contains the processor, a fan heatsink, product manual, and an Intel sticker. The product manual contains installation instructions and warranty terms and conditions. Be aware that mobile and enthusiast SKUs typically do not include a fan heatsink. Each boxed processor carries a three year limited warranty. Now, what is an OEM or tray processor and how long is the warranty on the processor? An OEM or tray processor is one that is sold wholesale, typically in bulk quantities, to system manufacturers like HP, Dell, or Acer. The processors are usually sold in a tray format and integrated into a PC by the OEM or reseller. Individual vendors set the OEM processor warranty length and provide warranty services. We recommend that you consult your system's warranty documentation for warranty terms and conditions. Basically what that means is that say if you bought a, uh, a computer from either Dell, HP, or Acer, or any other manufacturer, and your processor dies, you don't go to Intel for your warranty. Your warranty is with that manufacturer. So if your processor dies, you contact Dell, HP, or Acer, tell them that your processor has died, and then they work with you as far as warranty. Now, can I contact Intel directly about replacement for a OEM or tray processor? You must contact your place of purchase or computer manufacturer about OEM processor warranty replacement. We do not provide warranty service for OEM processors. Now that's an important thing. One of the reasons that Intel does not provide warranty for them is because normally, as said in the last one, they are usually bought in bulk quantities. They're also usually bought in a, at a, a lower, a discounted rate. You know, you're, you're not, they're not paying the full retail price for an OEM warrant, for an OEM processor, because it doesn't come with a warranty. So why would you pay full price when it doesn't, when there's no warranty on the product? So that's why you would, uh, you, Intel does not warranty OEM processors. Now, two things that you can do to fit, to know that if you have an OEM or a or a, um, a retail or boxed processor is look at the box these are two these are two boxes for a Skylake 6700k uh, processor uh, this is the one that I purchased originally from from a seller on Amazon I paid full retail price for it and this is another one that I bought that I to to actually replace this one. Um, and, and here's two main things. First of all, the size of the box. I didn't even real. I didn't even notice this before when I first bought it. It was it's a, it was a brand new CPU. Uh, I'd never dealt with one that did not have that did not come with a fan before. So I, I guess I was a little bit excited. So I just was yeah. I want to get this thing in and run it. So one of the big things is on this side. Look at that. There's a big difference right there. The OEM processor has nothing here. The retail processor has this white label. This has all of your information on it. It's got your uh, the product code, and the two main numbers are your serial number here and your batch number here. If you have a problem with your um, with your processor and you need to go through Intel's warranty, these are the two numbers that they're definitely going to need. These are the two that identifies this specific processor. It tells Intel when it was made, where it was made, uh, what group of processors it came out of, even all the way down to what silicon disk that the actual chip came off of. And that way they can track it and they can warranty it. This one comes with absolutely nothing. 
It's because it's an OEM CPU. This is this was bought in bulk at a discounted rate to be thrown into a computer by system manufacturers. When you go and you, if you're going to go to a place like Amazon to purchase your CPU, in the title it should either say OEM, meaning it's one of these, or it should say boxed or retail, meaning it's one of these. This one no warranty. This one does have a warranty. So I hope that'll help you guys a little bit with uh, per when you're when you're going ahead and buying this processor. You know, not from a reputable seller like uh, like Newegg or something like that. If you're going to go through a, a third-party reseller through a place through a marketplace like Amazon, send the seller a question. Ask them specifically: Is it an OEM or is it a retail boxed CPU? If they don't answer you back, don't buy it. If they answer you back with OEM, if you're if they if the cost of it is full retail price, don't buy it. If it's at a discounted price, then you know that's up to you. I would recommend not buying it because it's not warranted, and apparently the Skylakes are having a little bit of an issue lately. If you go ahead, do a little quick little do Google search for a dead Intel Skylake processor, you'll find a whole bunch of results. Now on to what happened to me and my personal experience. I purchased this from a seller on Amazon by the name of Bookshelf Betty. Let me show you over here. This is the one that I purchased. It is from, it is it says right here Intel Core i7 6700K 4 gigahertz unlocked quad core Skylake desktop desktop processor. There's nothing in here that says uh, boxed retail or uh, OEM. There's nothing. And if you look at the price tag on it, it's full retail price. Okay, I purchased this in October of, I believe it was 2015. If we scroll down, now we get down here, technical specifications, warranty. Here's the warranty information for the processor that I purchased. Brings you to a PDF of Intel's warranty in here that uh, covers, you know, three years, yada, 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 uh, defects, yada, 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 failures. So, so technically, by going by all, by all of this, my processor should have been warranty. <clears throat> so I, after reading all of this, I contacted Intel, and Intel, we, we uh, was on, this, on the chat with Intel, and it was determined that this was an OEM CPU meaning no warranty at all. So I went and I had so and so I had to contact the seller. I went through a couple of months back and forth, well mainly the seller. I sent the seller three emails and I requested uh, product replacements which never got responded to. All of my emails never got responded to. Then I went and contacted um, Amazon, Amazon directly and they sent me back an email saying that they can't help me because it doesn't fall under, uh, you know, their 30-day return guarantee policy because it had been eight months, eight months, and the processor died. Um, and also at this point, I had never in my all of my years had found seen a processor die on me, so you know, diagnosing was a little bit tricky. This was the first time ever. So when when we finally determined that it was the processor and it was not the motherboard. I uh, went through all of that, went to Amazon, and then I finally found a number for Amazon, and I called them, and I told, and I talked to an actual person. She said that there was nothing they could do because of 30 day yada yada yada. Well, then I explained to them that okay, but it's, I believe that this is a different circumstance because now it falls under false advertisement, because it's not, there's nothing in the, in the ad disclosing that is an OEM CPU. And it is also advertised with the three-year Intel warranty, and Intel does not warranty it. So the custom, so the seller is actually saying that there is a warranty, but there actually isn't, and they're charging full retail price. And so that so that went back and forth for about a couple of months. So I'm going to have to escalate this to the next person. Um, if you don't hear back from this person, give us a call again. Uh, if you don't get an email from our technical support, yeah, blah blah blah. Basically, the long run, after months and months and months, it was determined that Amazon was going to do absolutely nothing for me. So I went to Micro Center and I purchased a new one over over the Black Friday, over the holiday weekend, and uh, I got well, I got a new one for three hundred bucks from Micro Center. 
and that's how I ended up getting my main rig put back together and back up and running, and I can start editing videos and, you know, playing games, not like I have any time to play games, but... So, that's basically what happened to me, and I hope that this information reaches somebody and can help somebody so that way they don't get themselves into the situation that I had. Uh, stay tuned for more to come. This is Den Out.